What's going on guys, Eric Ellis Jr. here with ericellisjr.com and in this video we're going to go ahead and cover how to pick a winning ClickBank offer in three simple and easy steps. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so first and foremost, my name is Eric Ellis Jr. I'm a full-time digital entrepreneur and my full objective is to create content to help you live a life of time, location, and financial freedom by crushing it online. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get that content so I can help you guys crush it. Now, let's get right into the content. Let's step behind the laptop. Boom, we're behind the laptop. So if we look here, right, what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and cover not one, not two, but three ways to find um, a winning offer. Now, why is that even uh, important with ClickBank, right? Guys, the sole purpose of making money with ClickBank is, or excuse me, the, the, the sole purpose of using ClickBank is to make money. At the end of the day, we're not here to get these companies rich, we're here to get us rich, right? So the problem is, is on ClickBank, they don't really check the people's sales process, right? So with that being said, it's not guaranteed that it's gonna be an offer that actually converts, AKA something that's going to be able to be scalable when you put paid advertising behind these products, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys three tips, and if you stick with me to the very end, we're also gonna go ahead and cover the fourth bonus tip, right? And everything works. Um, this, this, this trick is like a, a secret hack that'll literally be a game changer for you guys, right? So the first one, guys, is your niche, right? That's actually the first step is finding your actual niche, right? So one thing that I'd highly recommend is stick with three niches, and I found three niches to be the most profitable, right? Number one is business and investing. Number two is e-business and e-marketing. And number three is fitness. Where is it? Where is it? Health and fitness, right? So stick with those three niches because those are evergreen niches, right? Business and um, e-marketing and e-business, that's in the wealth niche, right? Health, wealth, and romance are considered evergreen niches and they aren't going anywhere. An example is there could be a fad that's going on right now, something that's hot, but eventually it's not talked about anymore to where people aren't gonna be interested to where that offer may not convert like it did initially, right? But with these three niches, they're always gonna be in style. People are always gonna to wanna to make more money. People are always gonna get gonna to wanna to get more fit or have a better looking body. So those three niches, right? That is the first step to finding a winning offer. You have to pick the right niche. If you pick the wrong niche, you're not gonna go ahead and get results, right? So once we narrow down those niches, what is the next step, right? So once we go, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something. Step number two is the easiest, right? So we'll do e-business and e-marketing. Because this is what I promote. I promote make money online stuff. So what we wanna do is the second step. Once you've figured out your niche, right? The next step is filtering, right? by the gravity. So filtering by the gravity, what the gravity score is, is simply, right, the amount of affiliates who have made money within the last week. So 112 affiliates, if 112 affiliates have made money, right, chances are that this actual thing converts because people are actually making money, right? Now what happens is, what you don't, don't want to do is just go based off popularity, right? An example is CB University, right? I'll be honest, this isn't a bad review or anything of that nature of CB University, but I hit my list with it and I drove 300 clicks, nearly 300 clicks to this and I didn't get a single sale. So that tells me, okay, just because it's popular, they could easily put this to the, the top, right? But. Another reason why it has a high, high uh, an okay gravity is because it's at the top, right? So people are naturally gonna promote it, but that doesn't mean it converts, right? So the highest gravity, or the higher the gravity rather, the better, because chances are it's more of a converting offer because people 
a lot of people are succeeding, right? It's kind of like this. There's this saying, success leaves clues. If people are achieving results here, then naturally, I can achieve results. Like, that's my mentality, right? If, if It's kind of like the, the four minute mile. It's never been broken before. And for a, a time frame, people literally thought it was impossible. But eventually, it took one man to break it, and that same year, dozens of people broke it. But past that, nobody had ever broken that four minute mile mark. It's the same thing with this. Now, instead of you testing and tweaking and figuring out what works, spending money, wasting money, all that extra stuff, go ahead and filter by gravity score because it'll literally go ahead and show you, right, okay, there's 112 people, 88 people, 78 people, 72 people, right? Now, an example is the first option that they have, guys, is popularity. You don't want to go based off of popularity. For the most part, I think ClickBank may be playing some favoritism to people with popularity. So I'd highly recommend, like, why isn't the people, the ones that pay the affiliates the most money, the most popular? I, I don't get that, right? But um, next step, right, is this is the one of the most important ones, and then we're going to go ahead and cover the bonus, right? Now, number three, right, and I'm glad you're still watching this because most people who click away from this literally is missing the golden nugget, right? The golden nugget, guys, is product research. It's kind of like Shopify, uh, Shopify drop shipping, right? Um, what I'm going to show you guys is a simple trick that you guys can check to do research on this company, right? And you can see if they have resources, right? A good product and a good affiliate program has resources, meaning 90 per. A lot of people promote affiliate marketing as 90% done for you. Believe it or not, that's what it should be. It should be 90% done for you, and that 10% should be you focusing and mastering on driving traffic, right? So with that being said, how do we know? What we're gonna do is if you notice, it says affiliate support, or excuse me, affiliate page, right? So I'm gonna show you two different affiliate pages. We're gonna go to five minutes. We're gonna go to this first one. Then we're gonna go to the second one, AZ code. And then we're gonna go to sell who, right? So we're gonna open these up and then we're gonna go to do some, some digging here to see if this is something that I should promote, right? Now, let's take a look while these load. So we're gonna do some of our research. We're gonna do some digging, right? So it says, wait, we're giving away $40,000 in bonuses as well as paying 75% commissions. Do you really wanna miss out? So my affiliate tools, I don't care about the video. Give me my tools, right? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for affiliate tools. So here's the thing, guys. Here's one cool thing about this company, right? You can check out the why, the why promote. I mean, I don't care about that. But um, our funnel, right? So it shows you the actual funnel, right? Most people don't even know what's on the back end of what they're promoting, right? Now it shows you guys, look, 75%. You guys want to promote things with upsells, right? Most people do the research on the first page of ClickBank and they see, okay, I'm making $37. No, who cares about that, guys? What's important is what's on the back end. That's what makes money on funnels, right? So look, $37 commissions. Then the next upsells, faster profits, faster profits, which is $197, which is 75% commissions. And then the next one, is another upsell, which is $187, right? So if you notice, guys, total, 75% of that, 75% of that, you can literally make over $200 per sell. If you notice, each lead is worth $358. Guys, that's what affiliate marketing is about. It's about being really good at upsells on the back end. And this is the number one converting meaning, right? They literally, um, are converting very well, so a lot of people are making a lot of money, and they have a really good back-end sales process, right? Not only that, right? And wait, there's more, right? That's one of my favorite things, and wait, there's more, right? There is, right, about the product. It actually gives you things about the product, so that way you can actually put that in your advertisement, whether you're doing a blog post, whether you're doing a product review, right? So many people are like, oh my gosh, how do I do a product review without buying a product? This is how you do it. You go on their affiliate website, it educates you guys about the actual product. That way you guys can literally educate yourself. And then based off of what the knowledge that you've acquired, you can create a review and drive traffic to this affiliate offer, right? 
Another thing is email marketing, guys. One thing you'll notice that I preach all the time is sales funnels, right? Now, here's the thing. Email number one, which they literally already have 20 emails that you can set up as a follow-up, meaning I use Aweber, right? And just to show you guys what Aweber is really quick, actually I won't waste your time, but what an email marketing software does is simply as soon, as soon as somebody opts in, there's two, two things that we, we can do, right? Number one is we can go ahead and do uh, email blasts, right, to my list, and number two, I could do email follow-up. If you notice, guys, they literally have 20 different emails so it's done for you. The email marketing is done for you, right? Like, all you have to do is literally create a sales funnel or create a little landing page, and would you look at this? They have landing pages. So all you have to do is literally connect your, here we go, look, custom landing pages. They have landing pages to where you can drive traffic to this landing page, you can collect the leads, right, and you can connect it to your autoresponders so you have those leads forever, so you can actually monetize those leads on the back end later on with additional email marketing campaigns with different offers within that niche. And as soon as they opt into your landing page, you have email, you have email on marketing, right? Boom. And um, last but not least, guys, let's see another one, right? So look at how much stuff this offer gives us. Like, and I simply click of a button, I download the emails. I didn't have to write a single email. For those who suck at email marketing, for those who don't want to write email marketing, right, this is how you pick a winning offer, right? They have all the tools and resources that I need to succeed. Here's another one, right? The AZ code, let's see what they have. Let's see if they even compare. So if you notice, what do they have? Oh, I forgot to mention this, I'm sorry about that. Banner and images, right? What is this important? If you guys plan on doing any type of advertisement, they literally have ad stuff for you. Guys, do you see why they're the number one? Look, like what the hell? They have, they have 57 pieces of ad advertisement. Like wow, I'm just so impressed. Now let's go to AZ Code, right? What do they have? I actually read this earlier. The, their email marketing is pretty basic. Like, it's very basic. There's not, nothing good about this email copy, right? They don't have any ads, right? They don't have any landing pages or any opt-in pages that you can send people to. So at the end of the day, guys, which one am I gonna get more results? Especially as a beginner, right? Especially as a beginner, which one am I gonna have more results? I'm gonna have more results with this because they give me tool, more tools, more resources, right? And AZ code, right? That would be the determining factor, especially me being a beginner. Okay, I'm not gonna promote AZ code. I'm gonna promote them because they're literally giving me more arsenal to get results. A good affiliate company wants to get the affiliate rich. A shitty affiliate company doesn't care and they're gonna give you a limited amount of resources. Hope that you promote them and hope that you make them a boatload of money, but they're not gonna make you none, right? And let's check out sell here, right? Here's another offer. You guys, you guys can literally look at the affiliate pages all around, right? This is, the, this is the secret hack. Well, this isn't the secret hack, but here's another one. So if you notice here, the only thing about sell suit is that you literally have to, in order to get access to this stuff, you have to become, you have to buy it, right? So they're making you buy it. So full training, affiliate newsletter, um, promo banner, so they have the banners and stuff. They only have 50% commissions. So would you rather promote something with 50% commissions or would you rather promote something with 75% commissions and they have all these tools and these resources and you don't have to buy it? Like, it's crazy, right? And last but not least, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys, um, as far as the secret. So do your due diligence, right? Figure out which company is giving you the most amount of resources to help you succeed as an affiliate. And now, for the fourth and final bonus, right? I'm glad you watched to the end, right? This is one of my secret tricks that I'm giving to you for free, is simply, I'm gonna be very transparent with you. Even though this offer right here has the most tools and resources and they pay out up to $358 in commissions, that doesn't mean it is the best offer for you. It's a winning offer, but that doesn't mean it's the best offer. Why? Because if it's at the top, literally it has a ridiculous amount of 
people promoting this, right? Meaning there's a lot of competition, meaning there's a lot of people in the marketplace in this specific niche who has already came across this offer, right? So you have to wait, you have to weigh this here, right? Do I want to promote this offer? Because if you promote this offer, you're going to be competing with a lot of people. Now the way not to compete with people is you go to date added, right? So if I filter from date added down here, and we do two months within the last two months, so June 5th, then it's gonna go ahead and show me the most recent product launches, right? Meaning these offers have not been around for a long period of time, meaning there's way less competition. It's not at the top yet, right? And what's gonna happen is we're gonna do the same due diligence, right? We're gonna see which ones have the highest gravity. So this one has 17 gravity, right? But we can go ahead and do our due diligence by going to, okay, they have 60% commissions. They have 60% commissions. So maybe let's do, instead of June 5th, because that's a little bit too, I'm sorry, the glare's on my damn laptop. So dates, we're gonna do, let's say May. So let's see if we can find something a little bit better here. So May, okay, so this one has True Profit Sniper. It's not gonna be as competitive because it's a lot farther down, right? And it has 42 gravity, so it still has a good gravity. And what you can do is you can literally go to the affiliates page, like I stated before. And guys, this is just an example. I'm not saying promote this exact one. I'm just saying go through this process to find the perfect ClickBank product for you. And this goes for any niche. So if you notice, you earn up to 370, 367 cents per, per sell, right? The reason why a lot of people felt ClickBank because they don't even know the importance of upsells and on the back end, right? And launch date, June 4th. So they launched June 4th. That's amazing, right? Not too much competition. Now, download swipe files. They have email marketing files as well. Now, what I would do personally now they don't have as many email follow-ups, like the other one had 20, this one has five. But what you guys can do is create your own, right? You get, you get a little bit creative. If this is gonna convert a little bit more, it might be more beneficial for you to create your own sales funnels than for you to create your own email marketing, right? If it's more converting, right? So this is where you guys do your due diligence, due diligence guys. This is how you pick the perfect ClickBank offer. This is how you pick a winning offer. And you're not gonna, there's not a video out there teaching people about this subject. I promise you that, I promise you that, I promise you that, right? This is the first video I came across. That's why I decided to create this. And hopefully it gets a ridiculous amount of views. For people you know uh, promoting ClickBank, share this video because this is going to be the difference between people failing and succeeding within ClickBank. I promise, right? So with that being said, guys, if you guys did gain value, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It does help, I promise you that. Um, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notifications bell to join the Wolf family, right? And um, what I can actually do for you guys, if you guys want what I promote, right, my affiliate offer and my number one recommendation as far as making money online, it'll be the first link in the description, right? So where you guys don't have to do all this research, you guys can just get to the punch, because obviously if I'm promoting it and I'm an advocate of affiliate marketing, it converts, right? It'll be the first thing in the description. And number two, if you guys are looking to get into affiliate marketing and you wanna learn about email marketing, sales funnels, and everything around how to promote these ClickBank products, how to just do affiliate marketing in general, right? I have a course, it'll be the second link in the description. Click that second link, grab access to that course, and take immediate action. Now with that being said, I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. Eric Ellis Jr. checking out. Yeah, Gucci gang, oh. Oh, yeah. big, big head on the Gucci gang, 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 G